Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with phonearena.com and I'm back again with yet another unboxing but this time it's a Zolo. But like I said in my earlier unboxing of the Geoni eLife E5 that I just unboxed, in case you haven't seen the unboxing you should see it because it's a gorgeous device, it's a beautiful device and there is a lot of common between these two. And I'll tell you what's common. So both these are based on a new MediaTek platform, it's the MediaTek MT6589 Turbo with uh, faster processing and better performance because it's supposed 1080p display but both these phones have just 720p display so the performance should be really really good. But that said, this is Zolo Q1000S, it's part of the Q-Core series, Quad-Core series of smartphones. You may have known the Q1000, the Q1000S is just a slimmer version and a faster version of the Q1000. This is uh, akin to N73, N73M or N93, N93i of the yesteryear Nokia's. So that's pretty similar. The box is very similar to what Zolo gave us with other phones. Other of its own phones of course. Uh, over the back you can see the specs of course. Uh, quad core 1.5 GHz MTK65890 processor powered VR SGX544 graphics engine for the GPU. You have a 5 inch HD. OGS IPS display, if the Zolo Q700 or even the Q1000 was any indication the display should be really good on this one. The camera is a 13 megapixel AF rear camera which is a step up from the Zolo Q1000's, uh, uh, the Zolo Q800 or 700's uh, 8 megapixel camera. The Zolo Q1000 also had a 13 megapixel camera. There is a BSA sensor, 5 megapixel front facing camera, you have uh, a full HD 1080p video recording and playback which is quite good. You have 1 gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. There doesn't seem to be any indication of external storage. You have Android 4.2 Jelly Bean 2500 mAh battery which is a step up from the 2000 mAh battery of the norm that is these days. And uh, you have assisted GPS and all the normal things. As you can see the pack is sealed. We have not yet opened it so we are going to see how slim it is uh, by opening it. So. Let's do the ritualistic unboxing of this device. That's one side open and the other side open. So let's open up the box. That's the device on the top right there. But even uh, on top of the uh, device is a screen guard. It's pretty much a norm these days for these kinds of companies to give out screen guards because that's the number one item that people buy after buying any device these days. So that's quite good. You have the extremely thin device here, 6.8 millimeters, but wow, it's so heavy. The device feels so heavy and of course it feels so well made because the bag seems to be really nice and uh, looks quite long than usual, longer than usual actually. So that's the Zolo Q1000S. We will keep this aside. You can see that the scratch guard has already been installed. So this is uh, another free one that's given in the box. Let's keep the device aside. We'll take a look at it later. So let's take a look at the box contents then. Inside you have the typical cheap uh, box packaging of the USB travel adapter. And you have the user guide, the warranty, safety guide, blah 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 and then you have the yet again cheap looking USB cable, micro USB and uh, well this looks like uh, iPod earphones if you ask me that's a very similar looking Apple style earphones for the Zolo Q1000S but yet, uh, yet again we'll test out the performance and see if it's as good as the Apple ones and uh, the cheap uh, micro USB cable of course. So that's it for the box contents. I'm really looking forward to try out the Zolo Q1000S because uh, this looks really good and it's quite heavy. It's uh, nearly 169 grams if I'm not wrong. So let's take a look at the device now. Yes, this is the Zolo Q1000S I have in my hands. Pretty nicely made device and feels like its uh, back is made of aluminium is, except for the two parts which is quite nice. You have uh, rounded edges, uh, rounded corners 
and a plus rounded edges too which uh, makes it feel really nice in the hand but we feel it's uh, a bit uh, heavy than usual heavier than usual so let's uh, take a look uh, at the hardware walkthrough of the device as i said already there is a screen guard already installed so let me remove that uh, the top part of that that's uh, that is because uh, the screen guard stays as you can see from the colored bands here so hopefully it should not distort the viewing experience of the device so on the front you have a 5 inch OGS IPS display uh, LCD type with uh, 1280 by 720 resolution that's the uh, resolution it runs on the MediaTek MT6589 Turbo platform so it should actually be capable of running on 1080p displays but uh, uh, Zolo has chosen a 720p display itself. Uh, on the top of the display you have the uh, earpiece of course the earpiece along with the uh, couple of sensors on the top of the earpiece and the front facing camera. Over at the bottom of the display you have the home contextual menu and back pretty standard. Over at the left hand side you have the power button and the volume rocker on the left. Uh, pretty nicely made. These are also really sturdy like the back. Over at the right you have uh, the uh, SIM card slot. There is no expandable storage just 16 gigabytes of internal memory and uh, using a pin you can open this uh, for inserting the uh, SIM card which I hope is micro SIM. Over at the back you have the 13 megapixel camera with single LED flash and the secondary microphone. You have the primary microphone right around here at the bottom. So again coming to the back you have the Zolo logo again uh, made of paint. I think it will uh, wear off soon and uh, these plastic parts actually look really cheap. Uh, with the otherwise really good looking back which is made of metal. Over at the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack and the micro USB port for data transfer and charging. And at the bottom you can already see uh, the uh, microphone used for voice calls. Pretty large grill for the loudspeaker there and slight bumps for uh, you know protecting the device from damage. So that's it for the quick hardware walkthrough. Let's power this device on and see how it performs. Uh, a quick look at the software then. The device has an inbuilt battery so uh, you can't really change it unlike other phones. A normal typical Zolo intro there. Alright, that was a really fast boot. You can see that the lock screen has been unchanged. Uh, the 4.2 lock screen is very stock, much like a lot of Zolo devices. You have uh, some changes in the startup menus though. I'll just hit next, next, next for everything because uh, I don't think uh, there will be anything to show you there. We'll also skip this and go straight to the home screen which is here. The display seems really bright so let me bring down the brightness a little bit so that you can see more. There you go. 99% it's stock. That's uh, Zolo's uh, philosophy there. Always, it has been always like that. Zolo devices have had uh, stock UIs and the UI performance seems really nice. Let's take a quick look at the camera then. This is supposed to be a 13 megapixel camera and we hope it's really good. Uh, let's take a quick picture of the mini in there, a really close macro shot. Let's see how it performs. Alright, so that was a quick macro shot and the uh, photo looks really good, really good, really good. So that was a quick demo of the 13 megapixel camera on the Zolo Q1000S. The device again looks uh, really slim except for the weight we think it's really well built and well made uh, like the other Zolo devices and uh, let's jump into the settings to show you the Android version it should run on 4.2.1 and yes it does it runs on Android 4.2.1 and the UI as you can see it's completely stock uh, with a very slightly uh, modified uh, launcher app list so that's about it. That's a quick look of the Zolo Q1000S. 
we just again showed you the unboxing of the uh, Geoni eLife e5 so check out the unboxing uh, of the e5 by clicking here and that's it uh, do hit the like button if you like this video do check out our upcoming videos about the solo q1000s the gaming performance reviews and the benchmarks do hit the subscribe button if you want to hear all the latest stuff from our youtube channel including hands-on from the latest ifa events that's about it guys thanks for watching